Hi guys, let me start by saying I hope you're having a good Christmas um, and I wish you all a Happy New Year from Dynaman. I uh, hope 2012 brings everything you want. Um, I'm just going to do a few um, a little short talk on the Mac Pro which I've got. Um, it's a 1.1 edition as you all know if you've been watching my videos. I did replace the CPUs and I put two um, Xeon uh, 2.33 quad cores in there from the standard uh, 2 gigahertz chips what were in there before which were only dual core um, when I install this um, I've got lying on um, I've got a utility off the internet which actually um, changes the firmware from the 1.1 to the 2.1 um, if you've been looking on uh, YouTube, you'll know that the 2007 Mac Pro, which was a 3 gigahertz, uh, two quad-core chips, the firmware on there was 2.1, so it recognised the chips. So when I installed the chips, it did say unknown when I went to about this Mac, which. Um, it obviously didn't recognize the chips properly so I put this firmware on which actually changed it to the 2.1 firmware and it recognizes them nicely now I've had this running now for the past um, three or four weeks with no problems whatsoever as you know I've got 10 gigs of memory in there now I've got the um, HD ATI HD Radeon uh, 4870 which is running nicely in there. I could put a, uh, a 5770 in or even a 6, uh, a six 7 80 I think it is as well I can fit in here. Um, on these Mac Pros are the first ones the um, PCI Express was only 1.1 and not 2 so it is a slightly bit slower and the um, 2008 model which was the 2.8 uh, quad core two quad core chips so that was an 8 core system and that had the um, the two version 2 of the PCI Express so that was a slight bit faster also the memory on the 2008 is 800 MHz which doubles because it's actually running in uh, dual mode on the memory so you double it, so it's running at 1600 uh, MHz, whereas this is only running at 1333 MHz. I can't see much of a speed increase there, but also the memory in these is uh, fully buffered compared to the later versions which came out in 2009 or 10, I think, which uses um, just like normal memory. And I think that's clocked at one point. 1333 uh, megahertz. Um, I'm impressed with it. Um, I've installed three hard drives now. Um, the first one for the hard drives as my Lion, and also I've got Snow Leopard on there, so it's dual boot. On that one, I've got a one terabit there, which is used for all my um, other applications. And this one has got Windows 7 on it. What I did was I took out what, uh, this drive out of another PC I had with Windows 7 on. Now you don't need dual, you don't need Boot Camp really to to make it run. What I did was I installed this drive with Windows 7 64-bit on into this P, this Mac Pro, and when I pressed the um, key for the booting up it, it showed it up as Windows so I booted up into it and had a fully working Windows 7 system which is very handy if you don't want to go the boot camp route that's another option you can do if you've got a PC take out your drive install Windows onto a new drive and then put that one into the Mac Pro and when you're booting up press the key and you can boot into Windows 7. If you're using a Macintosh keyboard and mouse then obviously you're going to have to install the drivers for it which boot camp pause but I don't have that um, I don't have that keyboard I have the um, Microsoft keyboard and um, 
a normal USB mount which worked perfectly fine with this system um, I've had no problems using them on this um, what else can I say oh yes if you're going to install a different graphics card like the one I've got in and change the processors I would highly recommend getting a driver which is on the internet for is like fan control SMC I think it's called something like that which you can actually alter the fan settings when you're running in the Mac environment like Lion or Snow Leopard you can have your fans running faster because there is a, a slight heat issue with these if you do upgrade them like with a decent card and everything the heat does build up in these systems so it's best to speed up the fans I think to cool them down um, a bit more um, what else can I say uh, yeah they do get dusty as well these Mac Pros um, they could have done with putting dust filters in them but they didn't so you just have to live with it and clean them every now and again take everything out and dust it out and then put it all back in um, what else uh, I think that's about it oh yeah if you're going to use Windows 764 bit um, I would actually download some uh, software for that as well to use to control the fans as well in Windows 7 I've got uh, a utility called 8 let's have a look yeah, Afterburner, MSI Afterburner it's a good utility for speeding up the fan on the graphics card to make it run cooler now found in the, in the um, Lion edition and the Snow Leopard for some reason you can't control the fan on the graphics card, you can control all the other fans there's about five fans in here, there's two here there's one at the back, the, there's one here where the um, power supply is at the top, there's a fan behind there and I think there might be another one there so there's five fans in total in this system um, but yeah I went for the 1.1 edition 2 gigahertz as well because they're a lot cheaper than going for the 3 gigahertz uh, dual core system and then what you do is you go on eBay and you look for a couple of processors which are actually server chips which are using servers as well I've got the Xeons uh, 5345s in there which are 2.33 gigahertz you can have 2.66 gigahertz and 3 gigahertz quad cores as well they will work in this as well if you can get them but they're very pricey at the moment I looked on eBay you're talking two or three hundred pound for one so it might be worth waiting another year and then seeing if the prices have come down a lot and then buying them because I only paid 120 for the two uh, matching pair of 2.33 gigahertz chips which were quad cores which was a good price I thought especially when it's a matching pair as well and they've been took out of a server so it went straight in um, as you know there are Intel chips in these and they're quite easy to do if you know what you're doing I do unscrew this, take this panel out and behind there's two heat sinks with four screws on each one you'll see plenty of videos on eBay on, um, not on eBay sorry on um, YouTube telling you how to change the CPUs in these systems and once you've done it you get a big speed boost so that's why I went for this one. You could have gone for the 2.8, which is two quad core chips, but I found them to be fairly expensive, talking like 13 to 1400 pounds for one. Whereas this unit I got was 625 pounds, so I've got a good speed boost on it as well with the two chips in, and the memory's gone down a lot on these as well. I bought um, 8 gigs. 2 gig sticks, uh, 4 2 gig sticks for £120, which is a good price, and they're actually Apple ones as well. 
so I use the four existing uh, 512 sticks I had and now I've got 10 gigs in there which is ample enough for this system um, I'm going to use it for video editing and the odd game in Windows um, I'm not going to use it as my main game unit though my main game unit is my um, AMD unit here which is running very good this is going to be my workhorse for all my video editing and everything which I'll be doing and improving the videos I've been doing lately I'm going to try and get hold of a decent camera as well so guys um, like I said before Merry Christmas and I uh, hope you all have a Happy New Year leave any comments or anything you'd like to leave thank you very much and it's bye from Dynaman bye